We humans tend to think that, thanks to our advanced technology, we know almost everything about our own solar system. But this is wrong. Scientists say that there could be billions of interstellar structures in our solar system that are completely unrecognized and new. The shocking new findings were triggered by a visitor from an alien world. Oumuamua came to us as an interstellar visitor in 2017 and attracted worldwide attention with its sudden appearance. The object was discovered by researchers using the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope in Hawaii to scan the sky for asteroids and comets. Shortly after its discovery, Oumuamua was identified as the first interstellar object ever to enter our solar system. But now we know that this assumption was very probably wrong. It's much more likely that there are hundreds, if not billions, of such structures and objects in our solar system. We just haven't recognized them yet. The strange flying object Oumuamua turned out to be an elongated, rotating, cigar-shaped celestial body, which was not only made of strange materials, but also took extremely strange trajectories within the solar system. Asteroids and comets normally move in fairly predictable orbits because they move along the gravitational pull of large celestial bodies. Oumuamua, on the other hand, raced across the solar system, just as if the object was not interested in our laws of physics or in how normal asteroids and comets behave. We are already familiar with such observations from numerous unidentifiable flying objects, which are generally referred to as UFOs. However, Oumuamua did not really look like a flying saucer at first. Its surface was rough, like that of stone or rock, or even an asteroid. Scans revealed a strangely high proportion of metals within the flying object, which is around 1,000 meters in size. This strange mixture gave researchers the idea that Oumuamua could be a well-camouflaged technology made of metals on the inside. The object was intended to give the appearance of an asteroid on the outside. The researchers were suspicious of one thing, Asteroids normally emit forms of radiation or are shrouded in a light mantle of dust. In the case of comets, these emissions are even greater as they consist largely of ice. But Oumuamua looked like a shiny something from a foreign world. The object was only discovered when it had already passed Earth. This fact also frightened scientists because if Oumuamua had been on a collision course with the Earth, we might not even have noticed it until after a very unpleasant encounter. Naturally, researchers pulled out all the stops to find out what this strange visitor really was. Are structures from alien worlds invading us? Avi Loeb, a researcher at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, was the first to put forward theories about the true nature of Oumuamua. Loeb was particularly puzzled by the strange acceleration of the object and the hooks that Oumuamua could make. Both circumstances had never before been observed in an asteroid or comet, and these effects were indications of a previously unknown type of acceleration. The question arose as to whether the object was getting its thrust from natural sources or whether there was some kind of control or technology behind it. Loeb's science team determined that Oumuamua could be accelerated thanks to the reflection of small amounts of solar radiation. Although this sounds natural at first, it would not be. If Loeb's theory is correct, there must be some kind of technology behind it that is far superior to ours, and therefore some kind of intelligence. Later investigations wanted to detect the slightest gas emissions on the sunlit side of the object, which further points to a previously unknown form of propulsion, especially as Oumuamua would then have to be equipped with a solar sail. In practice, however, we do not know whether the object had such a sail or not. Oumuamua was very difficult to observe, as it did not emit any light itself and hardly reflected any sunlight. Color scans revealed that Oumuamua must be dark red to brownish, and in our solar system, this only applies to a few objects in the Kuiper Belt. But then the researchers made another alarming discovery. Loeb and his team were investigating so-called near-Earth objects. These can be asteroids and comets, but there are also lots of very small rocks in the vicinity of the Earth. These hundreds of objects of all things which fly somewhere far out in orbit around the Earth, are said to have a certain structural similarity to Oumuamua. If these pieces of rock also originate from interstellar space, this would mean that the Earth is surrounded by interstellar structures, and nobody has noticed it yet. 
There could be billions of such objects and structures all over the solar system, and they are simply too small for us to have noticed or taken seriously. In any case, Oumuamua has shown us that there are things in space, and even right on our cosmic doorstep, that we have no idea about. Gigantic comets are heading straight for us. Comets are not new, but they are still mysterious, and they are some of the most mysterious and beautiful objects in the solar system. From tiny to gigantic, they pass by every few years, and some of them deliver celestial spectacles in a class of their own. P-2005, JQ-5, for example, was a rather small object at just over 1.5 kilometers. The periodic comet was first discovered in 2005. The designation P slash in front of the number stands for periodic comets that visit us regularly. This means that they move through the solar system on large elliptical orbits. Many comets have their origin in the Oort cloud far out in space. They are attracted by the sun and then slowly move inwards. The orbits of the comets are constantly influenced by the planets. Some comets are pushed back and forth quite a bit, but the destination remains the same, the sun. When comets approach the Sun, they begin to form wonderful tails and turn into cosmic celestial spectacles. One of the best-known periodic comets that forms beautiful tails is Halley's Comet. The 11-kilometer-wide celestial object has an orbital period of around 76 years and was the first periodic object in which these periodic return phenomena were recognized. It was last visible in 1986 and is expected to reappear in 2061. C-2011 KP36 far surpasses Halley's Comet in size. This celestial visitor, first discovered in 2011, measures almost 50 kilometers in diameter. The C- in its name refers to a non-periodic comet. This type of comet is attracted by the Sun, then passes by us and disappears again after this one-off visit. Almost everyone knows Halebop, which is around 75 kilometers wide since it last passed by in 1995. It was and is one of the brightest comets of the 20th century. Millions of people around the world watched the light spectacle and enjoyed the unusual splendor of Halebop. The true giants among comets include C-2011 VQ-94 and C-2004 UN-271. These two non-periodic comets were discovered in 2002 and 2004 respectively. C-2002 VQ-94 is really huge at just under 100 kilometers, while C-2004 UN-271 was even bigger at 160 kilometers in diameter. These giants both appeared in the outer regions of the solar system after their passage, and it's questionable whether they will ever return. Why does the Oort cloud do this? Did you know that there is a structure far out in the solar system that contains billions of comets and possibly completely unknown objects? Although the Oort cloud is still a hypothetical phenomenon, the probability that it exists is very high. This cloud was named after the Dutch astronomer Jan Oort, who proposed it in 1950. It was the comets and their strange trajectories that brought scientists and the Oort cloud together. When they followed the trajectories of the comets, they realized that they all came to us from a very specific region. The Oort cloud is most likely a vast sphere of icy objects such as comets and protoplanetary matter. All the celestial bodies in the cloud are probably remnants of the early phase of solar system formation when dust and gases clump together to form icy particles. Most of the comets that we observe in the interior of the solar system probably originate from the Oort cloud. Gravitational forces, probably triggered by passing stars, cause some chunks to shear out of the cloud and then head for the interior of the solar system. As it approaches the sun, the comet heats up, causing ice and gases to evaporate and form the characteristic comet tail. Unfortunately, the Oort cloud is so far out that we currently have no means of sending probes there. Even the Voyager probes, which reached the actual end of the heliosphere years ago, will still need hundreds of years to get close to the Oort cloud. This gives you an idea of how far away the cloud actually is from us. Are Trojans in space a danger? When we look at the strangest and most alien structures in the solar system, Trojan asteroids are not to be missed. Trojan asteroids are a unique group of celestial bodies in the solar system that are located at the so-called Lagrange points. 
These special points in the orbits of the planets are named after the French mathematician Joseph Louis Lagrange. They are created by the gravitational forces of the Sun and planets, or at very specific points of balance and equilibrium. According to the Lagrange points, the asteroids are divided into L4 and L5 groups. Trojan asteroids share their orbits with larger planets. They follow the planet or, to a certain extent, precede it. The L4 group is about 60 degrees ahead of a planet in its orbit, while the L5 group is about 60 degrees behind. Jupiter in particular gathers a number of these fascinating objects around it. However, Trojans have also been sighted in the orbits of Mars, Uranus, and Neptune. These asteroids do not get their name from some insidious war tactic. Astronomers have simply named these objects after famous Trojan warriors. The discoverers of the asteroids have thus continued the tradition of naming astronomical objects after mythological figures. In fact, these asteroids, which are firmly bound to their planets, are the safest in the entire solar system. So, they pose no danger to us. Now, you may be wondering why these asteroids neither race through the solar system nor are swallowed up by planets. Jupiter in particular has a reputation for sucking in smaller objects and breaking them down into their constituent parts. The stability of the Trojans is indeed a special feature. It's a dynamic balance of the gravitational attraction of the Sun and the planet around which they are located that makes this strange dance possible. It's a fascinating balance of forces that allows the Trojans to remain in the Lagrange points without being displaced from their position. Some of them have probably been orbiting the Sun alongside their planets for millions or billions of years. Although thousands of Trojans are now known throughout the solar system, their exact number and composition is not yet fully understood. In a few years, NASA's Lucy Probe, launched in 2021, will take its first look at the most important Trojan asteroids in Jupiter's orbit. Click on subscribe now, because there will soon be even more impressive videos.